The following is a production of New Mexico State University. could be something he ate? Hi, I'm Susie Lasana. I'm an FBI. That's Foodborne Illness Investigator. Often, illnesses with flu-like symptoms, like nausea and diarrhea, are the work of foodborne pathogens. Careless food handling can make people very sick or worse. Meat products, because they're highly perishable, require special handling. From the farm to the consumer, there are so many places that meat can come into contact with dangerous bacteria. And there are so many opportunities for that bacteria to grow and become a real health threat. Let's see if we can get to the bottom of this nasty business. It looks like our victim ate prepackaged chicken enchiladas for dinner. Is there any way they could have caused that midnight attack? Prepackaged foods are prepared in USDA inspected kitchens that are required to have food safety plans called HACCP plans. Every step of the process, from cooking and cooling to packaging and storing, must follow seven HACCP food safety principles. First, at any point where food might possibly become contaminated, food handlers take special precautions to make sure that it remains clean and safe. These include heating food long enough and at temperatures hot enough to kill any harmful microbes. For example, when cooking ground or shredded chicken for fillings or casseroles, the temperature must reach 165 degrees. In USDA-regulated facilities, like this one, the food preparation process is constantly monitored. If something goes wrong, corrective action is taken immediately to fix it. Monitoring equipment, like thermometers, timers, or pH meters, are checked regularly to make sure that they are working properly. And finally, employees keep records to document that all safety procedures were followed. In addition, sanitation is extremely important. Food handlers carefully follow sanitation standard operating procedures like washing hands and sanitizing countertops. Chicken is particularly susceptible to salmonella contamination that can spread to other foods. So food handlers must take special care to use separate cutting surfaces for chicken and vegetables, to use separate utensils and brushes, and to carefully sanitize work surfaces with a bleach solution. The surface is allowed to air dry to ensure the sanitizer has dissipated before more food is prepared on that surface. Remember, in the food business, health is wealth. Paying attention to food safety is just good business. I don't see any clues here. Let's take a look at what happened to the enchiladas between the processor and our consumer. No cause for alarm there. The enchiladas were kept frozen until they were needed. They were heated properly and the kitchen staff wore hairnets. Mm -hmm. 
Symptoms of foodborne illnesses usually appear between 4 and 24 hours after consumption of contaminated food. Most victims recover. However, an estimated 5,000 deaths each year are attributed to foodborne pathogens. We FBI agents take food safety very seriously, and you should too. Let's continue our investigation. Buffet foods can easily cause problems because of the need to keep them at safe temperatures for long periods of time. Pork needs to be heated to an internal temperature of 160 degrees. These pork tamales are being kept on a steam table at at least 160 degrees, so they remain too hot for foodborne pathogens to grow. No problem there. Let's take a look in the caterer's kitchen. All of the equipment is cleaned properly. This kitchen worker is being very careful. The work surface gets sanitized first. The cooks here are wearing hairnets, clean smocks, and are wearing gloves to prevent contamination. Well, this most likely is not the source of food contamination that we are looking for. Authorities believe that many foodborne illnesses go unreported. People often think they have the flu because sometimes symptoms of foodborne illness don't show up until a week or more after they've eaten contaminated food. That makes it hard to pinpoint the cause of the illness. Let's see if we can get to the bottom of this midnight madness. Carelessness on the part of consumers can be a major factor in the incidence of foodborne illness. You can't control what happens to food after it leaves your business. But as a food vendor, it's good business to make sure that your products are safe and that you've done everything possible to keep your customers happy and healthy. This vendor obviously doesn't know that the law prohibits the home kitchen preparation of meat products for commercial distribution. He carefully cleaned his countertop, but recontaminated it with eggs that haven't been washed. Remember that chickens and eggs are frequent hosts of salmonella. It's very easy to transfer these dangerous organisms to clean countertops and then to food. Oh, oh he should have checked to make sure the chorizo was heated to 160 degrees. He didn't use a separate utensil to sample the food. And he didn't use gloves when he was doing the final prep of the burrito. Maintaining proper personal hygiene while preparing food is essential. There are definitely some red flags where that burrito is concerned. Was it his carelessness that caused this disaster? Maybe. Make sure it's not yours. To play it safe, all food handlers should take a page from those who follow HACCP food safety guidelines. Analyze your food handling operation and identify all of the places where food might possibly become contaminated. 
Identify ways to ensure your product safety at each of those points. These include cooking food long enough and at temperatures hot enough to kill harmful microbes. Decide how you will monitor your operation to ensure that the safety measures are followed. Know what you will do if one of your safety measures is not met. Check to make sure that your monitoring equipment is working properly. Keep records of your monitoring and any corrective actions taken. And be sure that you and your employees always observe basic sanitation practices. Wash your hands frequently for at least 20 seconds. Keep work surfaces clean and sanitized. Use disposable towels and gloves to reduce the risk of cross-contamination. Don't be responsible for a scene like this. Your customer's health is in your hands. Remember, bad memories make for bad business. By following food safety guidelines, you'll be keeping your business healthy too. The preceding was a production of New Mexico State University. The views and opinions in this program are those of the author and do not necessarily represent the views and opinions of the NMSU Board of Regents.